Welcome, welcome back to the Vivi Mars channel. Today I'm excited to be doing another Duncan Hines epic cookie kit. I've already done the cookies and cream kit and that came out so tasty even though I put a little bit too much butter in. I'll try and get it right this time because these are really easy to make. There's your nutritional facts. They're really easy to make and they pretty much come with everything that you need. Um, it, it comes with cookie, uh, the cookie mix, the cookie dough filling, the sprinkles, and what you will need is four tablespoons of butter, one large egg, and one tablespoon of water. You'll probably also need a pair of scissors, some parchment paper. If not parchment paper, then you're going to want to, um, you know, grease your pans so it doesn't stick. You also want to preheat your oven to 375. And um, also, I should mention this sooner, this can make large cookies or small cookies. So you can have small ones and they cook at a different time than the large ones. So I'm going to point that out. I'm making the large cookies today. So let's open this box and make sure we have everything. All right. Okay. Well, we do have our cookie dough mix. Look at that. And we have our cookie dough filling. Mm -hmm. And we have sprinkles because why not, right? All right. So we have everything we need. We're going to go on and melt off butter and mix all our ingredients. So I have my egg, my water, and my melted butter in a bowl. So now I'm going to add this cookie mix. I like to mix my wet ingredients first. So that's why I have that all in a bowl already done. And now we're going to add the mix. And hope that it's not another fail. <laughs> if you missed that video, you're going to want to you're going to want to check that video out. I met a boo boo. All right. There's our mix. So we're going to mix this up. And hopefully we get a stiff batter. As cookies should be. That seems to be a good texture. So... Um, divide dough into 12 even portions so it doesn't look like this is supposed to be a texture that I'm supposed to grab like the other ones but um, I'm glad it is pretty stiff that's good that's definitely good we're on the right track so I'm going to go on and get my pan with parchment paper and we need to make 12 of these and you know what they don't even have to be cute going on this thing. Like, they can be ugly. <laughs> and when they bake, they will turn beautiful. So one. All right, there we have it. 12 cookies. We're going to throw these in the oven. And since I'm making the larger ones, it's between 12 to 15 minutes. So we'll see these bad boys when they're done. Yum, yum. And we have them back from the oven. And they have cooled. I've actually changed the pan that I have them in. And they came out pretty good. Look at that. I didn't do too bad. There are some that are smaller than the others, but I'll just match the small ones up. It's really no big deal. So our next step is to assemble. So we're going to do the same thing like we did last time. Let me see. This time the sprinkles go on the side here. So I've got a bowl I'm going to use. 
and this. All right, so let's open up these sprinkles and then we're going to open up our little pouch. So this is where the scissors come in handy. Definitely. And you guys, when I say these things smell good, you guys are going to have to go out and buy some of these kits because not only are they so easy to do, but when they're cooking, the, the smell just fills the whole room. It has no shame whatsoever. And yes, it's it, this the last one, okay, it does want you to knead and squeeze before using. So that's what I'm doing. Right, and then we're going to cut this too. Does this have one on both sides? Yeah, yeah, it does. It has it on both sides. So I guess I'll cut this one. And this is our little piping bag. Cut a one dotted line. All right. And I'm going to try something. You know what? I'm going to try something. All right, so this is what I've come up with. I'm going to do like a little assembly line here instead of having all those cookies in my way. And all right, so I squeeze everything from the bottom here. I'm using it just like it's a piping bag. Holding it at the bottom. Look at that. It is. It's cookie dough flavored. You can see the chocolate chip in there. At least I see some chocolate. And it's it's definitely not. Yeah, you can see the color of it too. That's pretty cool. All right. So here's my little assembly line. So I'm going to put the cream in, dip them, and place them here. All right. Let's do it. So pretty. There we go. There we go. Oh, can't forget you. Okay. So it's easier if you kind of sprinkle them on top at least that's working better for me than to dip them Say they look just like the box let's see reference reference like i said you couldn't even tell this one on the bottom is not part of the picture you couldn't tell look at that look at that the cookies don't look too bad either now they don't look as um i guess as cakey these actually look just like chocolate chip cookies the um, other ones were definitely more cake-like, so um, we'll see when we taste these. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pipe some more of these and we'll see it when it's done. All right, so I have them done. It made six delicious looking cookies. And I found the easiest way to do this because in the picture, it shows them dipping and rolling the cookie. But that doesn't necessarily get the sprinkles. Maybe if these were like all perfectly round, which mine are not all perfectly round. But um, in the world that I exist in with, you know, odd shaped cookies, what was easier for me was to kind of get a handful of sprinkles and then take it and kind of smear it along because my hand is also pushing it onto the icing so it's making it stick better too because I was finding that by just sprinkling it like this they're not sticky so by doing that with my hand against it it seemed to get most of the sprinkles to stay pretty well. So I'm going to call that a win. So here, let's see. One more camera shot. This is even a different cookie than I used before. And it still looks like it's part of the picture. What do you guys think? Look at that. Well, there's only one thing left to do now. That's to taste it. So let's clear this up. And I'm going to take a bite. Would you like to take one first? There you go. All right, now I'll grab this one. Might be a little messy because of these sprinkles, but we're going to go right in. It's like cookie dough with cookie dough with cookie dough with a little bit of cookie dough. This is so good. So the chocolate chip cookie is so good. It's really soft, um, but not as cakey as the other cookies were. Um, this filling is amazing. It's like, I don't know, it's just like eating edible cookie dough, but it's an icing form. That's the best I can do. So let me see what the sprinkles do. Mmm. This is insane. I love cookie dough. But this makes me feel like I haven't even touched the tip of the iceberg when it comes to liking cookie dough. This is insanely good. I would do a little break for you, but I feel like this isn't one of those things that are just going to break apart. Um, they gave you plenty of icing, plenty of sprinkles. There's still sprinkles left over somewhere. And um, so you don't have to worry about running out. You can use as much as you want. But man, like to describe this flavor, cookie dough overload, but not too much. And you know what? It's not too sweet neither. It's not like my teeth don't hurt. You know, when you eat something too sweet, like, like a fudge or something that's rich, and you know, it kind of messes with your teeth. But this does not do that. And I have a feeling these cookies are going to stay soft because even with the um, other cookies, you know, even for like a day or two later, they stayed really soft. So I'm not really worried about these hardening up. I, I'm not, I do prefer soft cookies than to hard cookies. But um, this is amazing. And you know what? It was so easy to do. Simple steps. <coughs> And, um, you know, I could see the kids could 
uh, help you with the sprinkles. You know, I feel like they get a joy out of that because um, me just doing it by myself, it was like, oh, a little tedious till I figured out, you know, I got my little rhythm down pat. But it came out good. Um, I would buy this again and just, just to have. Um, maybe at the house or maybe if I'm going to have like a get together when, you know, when that's all possible again. But um, until then, I'm going to enjoy these 10 out of 10 cookies by Duncan Hines. And I definitely recommend this one. So far, this is my favorite. I like these better than the um, cookies and cream ones. I definitely like these better. So um, you don't have to take my word for it. No, I'm, I'm just playing I don't know if that's copyright or what, but that's a show. All right, so that's it, you guys. I'm going to eat these cookies. I'm going to share them with Corey, too, um, or not. No, I'm just playing. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've not clicked like and subscribe, make sure you do because I have the rest of these kits that I still have to do. There are three more. So stay tuned. Toodles!